Hello everyone, my name is Wei Hao from Zhuhe University of Science and Technology. Today I'm going to talk about the topic a simulated respiratory system for secondhand smoke generation and characterization. Uh, this research was advised by Dr. Yang Wang. And before I start, I want to thank for uh, Kampian Ba, Maruni, and Dr. Huang for their help and uh, effort in this project. And I will go through background, objectives, methods, results, and discussion, and summary. Uh, let's talk about secondhand smoke. We know that traditional tobacco cigarette is harmful to and pose health effect not only on primary smoke but also secondhand smoke. But nowadays, uh, electronic cigarette becomes popular because it is considered uh, less toxic, and millions of people, uh, including nearly 20% of young people, are trying to use it. But actually, e-cigarette is not that much safe. Uh, we are interested in the secondhand smoke uh, because uh, it can pose a potential health not only smokers but also non-smokers, although it is a life choice for smokers. Uh, however, uh, we met some difficulties in generating secondhand smoke by exhalation from users uh, because it involved a human subject. Therefore, we need a simulated respiratory system. And it's very important. Uh, here, I want to bring up uh, the primary and the secondary smoke are different due to the physical process in the human respiratory system, uh, like in this picture. And the smoke particle that enters the respiratory system are uh, particles of specific size uh, would have different deposition efficiency in the different regions in body. And to understand this size-dependent deposition efficiency, the International Commission on Radiological Protection um, developed a human respiratory tract model that can describe the deposition efficiency in different uh, regions uh, of the respiratory system and also called an uh, ICRP model. Uh, based on this ICRP model discussed, our group tried to construct a simulated uh, respiratory system to mimic size-dependent particle deposition in a real uh, situation to order, in order to generate representative secondhand smoke aerosols. And on the other hand, we further try to collect and analyze secondhand smoke, uh, like do some uh, meta-analysis. Uh, in terms of method, we try to identify filters for the uh, system. Enlightened by our recent studies on characterizing filtration efficiency of common fabric face masks, we identify three filter media that can generate a nearly identical particle deposition efficiencies in the region of the human respiratory system. Our simulated system is composed of uh, five filters and each representing a region of the human respiratory system. And the first and the uh, fifth filter mimic the uh, extrathoracic region, ET region, and the second and the fourth filter mimic uh, the tronchibronchine region, and the third filter in the middle uh, can mimic the uh, alveoli region. And the particle deposition efficiency through this filter media should satisfy the ICRP model under the humid lung condition. And after selecting the filters, assemble these filters and to uh, establish this uh, system that can mimic aerosol deposition and can generate a secondhand smoke. To determine the filtration efficiency of the filter media, we measure the particle size distribution upstream and downstream of the filter. Uh, here it shows the diagram of the experiment setup, including aerosol generation and uh, filtration assessment by SMPS. And we use uh, sodium chloride as the test aerosols. And the size dependent uh, filtration efficiency and the standard deviation of the efficiency was calculated. And during this experiment, uh, the relative humidity is maintained 90%, uh, which simulated the lung uh, environment. Uh, another method is about metal analysis. We also tried to direct sampling of secondhand smoke aerosols uh, for a metal analysis. Here, uh, we installed the PTFE filter upstream and downstream to collect primary aerosols and secondhand aerosols by including our simulated respiratory system. After sample collected, uh, we digest filter centrifuge and prepare samples uh, for uh, ICPMS by quantification. Our results and discussion. 
Among the materials tested, we found that three filters and each of them have filtration efficiencies close to those of ET, TB, and AR regions and a relative humidity of 90%, and vendor information in the table and microscopic images of filter medium are shown in this figure. Uh, from the particle deposition efficiencies in the figure, we can observe that the difference of aerosol deposition efficiency between the simulated respiratory system and ICRP model agrees well, and this system can be used to simulate particle deposition in the human respiratory system and produce secondhand smoke. Uh, in this slide, a uh, secondhand smoke generated from the system. In this figure, it shows the number concentration as a function of particle size, and we e examined the electronic cigarette, a Vupu e-cigarette, and the tobacco research cigarette, and sodium chloride aerosols as a uh, reference. Um, in this figure, we can see that solid curve, uh, the primary aerosols, and the dash curve is the uh, secondhand aerosols, and we can observe uh, that a considerable change uh, compared to primary and secondary. Uh, based on number concentration, we can also derive a size-dependent particle deposition efficiency uh, for the three aerosols. But in this figure, this green symbol curve, we can see a relative large deviation that uh, deposition efficiency for e-cigarette uh, is mainly due to the e-cigarette liquid e evaporation. Um, because of droplet evaporation, the number concentration for larger particles becomes lower, and we can see an increased deposition efficiency for larger particles. And the evaporated um, droplet shrink to smaller sizes and lead to a lower deposition efficiency for these smaller particles. And compared to tobacco cigarette, a tobacco cigarette mainly uh, generate aerosols in solid phases, uh, so based on low uh, volatility. And lastly is meta-analysis. Uh, with the simulated respiratory system, we collected the secondhand smoke and analyzed the heavy metal contents and compared them against the primary aerosols. Uh, in this figure, the unshaded color is shows the primary metal content and the uh, shaded color shows the secondary metal content. And here, we also analyzed the two different uh, easy red and the mass of the heavy metals were normalized to 100 path of smoking. And in this figure, uh, it, you can see that a significant amount of heavy metals can be carried in the secondhand smoke, and the nickel and the chromium in the secondhand e-cigarette aerosols are all above the daily uh, maximum intake amount regulated by the European Medicine Agency. And we should note that the mean path number for electronic cigarette users per day is very high, and meaning that uh, the potential environment and health impact is high. And more meta-analysis you can find by our group mate uh, Kapiamba Ferris in the section uh, 6 on Tuesday, October 19, and you can find more uh, helpful information in his presentation. Thanks. A summary in this study, uh, we established a simulated respiratory system for secondhand aerosol generation. Uh, it can mimic particle capture in human respiratory system and produce similar uh, size-dependent particle deposition efficiency uh, with uh, SNRP model and a humid lung condition. And importantly, uh, the heavy metal contents in secondhand e-cigarette aerosols may be a health issue for non-smokers. So that is all for today's presentation, and thank you so much for your attention. And we also thanks for the U.S. National Science Foundation for partly uh, support this project. And our research paper has been submitted to Nicotine Tobacco um, Research and is under review. And thank you so much again.